Adrian, you asked me for a super salad, so I'm going to make a super duper salad. This is pretty much like visiting a nutritionist in a bowl. Nice, nice. I <laughs> okay. Like that. So There's what? a lot of good stuff here. There like is it. a lot yeah. of good stuff. So I'm going to get you just by slicing some avocado just there. While you do that, I'm going to make my beautiful poppy seed dressing. So I'm going to start with the basic Greek yogurt because I want a few probiotics. Mm. I'm really going to be looking after the whole body from head to toe, just nice. like you like to eat the meat from head to toe. I'm going to be looking after the body head to toe. If it's got a pulse, I like to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Just going to add a little pinch of that. Of course, beautiful for our digestive system, keeping nice. all those nasties away. A little bit of honey because that is quite tart, that vinegar. Nice. And a little bit of honey there. sweetens everything up, doesn't it? Sure, does, honey. Um, uh, some poppy seeds just in there as well. It's going to give it that beautiful, unique look and taste. So what I'm going to do, I've just got a little base of spinach here. Now, spinach nice. is one of my favourite greens. You're going to really notice that over the series because it is so rich in iron and we love the energy. I love spinach. <laughs> I love cooking it. I normally saute it with a little yep. bit of butter or olive oil. But raw, it's, got, it's really, really Raw's good for delicious. it. delicious. It's, it's one of my favourite leafy vegetables. So on goes the avocado, just like that. Yes, please. Okay. Absolutely. So just to jazz it up a bit, I've got some beautiful mandarins. I thought it was jazzed up enough already. We're no, going to go going more. more. We're going it, more. It is so super. Have a little go at just layering these mandarins just now, on there. If you didn't have mandarin, you could use orange or grapefruit or... You could use any fruit. You could have sliced apple, you could have sliced pear. It's nice. not a problem. So I've just got some pecans here as well. Actually, nice. what I'll get you to do is just chop them up. I can do that. These have been roasted, haven't they? They have. I've got nice. some slivered almonds. Again, I've got some lovely... We get a little bit of protein. We get some nice um, fats from there. So this is going to make sure that we stay full up for a long time. So I don't want that to ever be an excuse not to have salad. I will say roasted pecans are delicious because I did have a nibble on these before and they are really, really they nice. Sure so take, take an extra couple of minutes, roast the pecans, let them cool down. it will be great for the salad. Now, of course, I'm a pommy, so I want some no, pom how pomegranate. <laughs> so you must you be so disappointed. <laughs> I, know, I know what you mean. So grab that one. I want you to cut it. Sure. And I want you to do it in your special way that you have. Of course, if you, if you don't have the time to cut it in this way, you can just slice it. Bash it with the back of a, a spoon and they should scatter beautifully rainbow onto there. So we do have our rainbow food and of course, I think if it's rainbow food, it's going to be ever so good for us. Or you could use some pomegranate molasses like I do. Of course you can, yeah. absolutely. So you can spin this to work whatever um, flavours you like, whatever ingredients you like. So you just make that rain there. Nice. That's looking lovely, nicely mixed. I am going to add a little bit of olive oil, okay? Good Australian extra virgin olive oil. Just on there, because I love my good fats. You can see why I'm doing this, because I punished you with the pomegranate before. And now it's my turn to get punished. <laughs> it does make a mess. Probably not a good idea to wear your best clothing or a white T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it was very clever wearing a black T-shirt Black was there. a good choice. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just drizzle that around. Now, this is simple, but when you taste it, my golly, it is fantastic all over your taste buds. Right, go. grab us a couple of forks. And we're going to hook into it. Now, I want to taste the dressing, which is the most important part. Yes. It's the dressing that brings the salad together. So I'm going to have a good taste of that one. I love the poppy seeds in it. You know, it's something that, uh, that yeah. I wouldn't normally do, but uh, having seen you do it, I think I might try it. And I might call it one of my things. There we go. Mm. Mm. So if you take right. anything from this, what I want you to really think about is salad isn't boring, but it doesn't have to be boring. If you don't have the right ingredients to make a big, abundant salad, make a fantastic dressing. I think that's a great idea. And pull whatever you've got out of the fridge or the uh, or the fruit bowl, chop it up, chop it into a bowl with a great dressing. I think it makes it work. Well done. Yum.